I started playing music when I was very small. My father was a professional musician for a long time and growing up around the house there was always a guitar or some stringed instrument lying around and curious I eventually picked one up and started banging on it and that grew into a passion that I developed throughout my life and it's something that I plan to continue uh, as long as I can. So we from time to time have various different flocks of chickens both of us have a love for, for lack of a better term, homesteading. And I think the part of it that appeals to both of us is that we are creating food, nutrition in a self-sufficient way where we know from start to finish what went into the food that we're eating. And so chickens uh, not only are a great diversion when you're focusing on biathlon, and so it's nice to have that totally different set of tasks that you have to take care of that doesn't take a lot of time every day, but sort of centers you and grounds you and keeps you aware of other things in life outside of biathlon. My goals for this season are first and foremost, to perform at my best when it counts the most and that would be the Olympics this year. Although I have specific performance goals, you know, reaching the podium again and winning races and things like that, I think the most important goal for me is that I'm competitive, that I'm healthy. That's a huge part of biathlon, which every biathlete has to, in a way, roll the dice every year because uh, if your health leaves you even for a week with a little bit of a cold, uh, it can put you out for a month. If you lose half a percent of performance, that translates to tens or twenties of places down the results list. We've had a great training year thus far, and the team's in good shape. So I'm looking forward to this season and definitely looking forward to the races in Pyeongchang. <laughs>